guys, Ryan, but I'll hear blogging card. I just wanted to do a video. I don't know if it's going to be little or big, long or short, to help you understand what pro bloggers do if you want to become a pro blogger yourself. Now, I know a lot of folks out there, they have big dreams in that awesome sauce. But there's going to be certain practical tips that you're going to follow if you want to succeed as a professional blogger, or even if you want to become a pro blogger. Now, before we dive into the video, I want to share my ebook. If you want to become a professional blogger, you want to do it full time, you could stop by bloggingfromparadise.com backslash ebook. And you could buy How to Retire to a Life of Island Hopping through Smart Blogging. Now, one chapter is based on travel. That's the logistics stuff. But all the remaining chapters apply to all professional bloggers who are aspiring if you want to become a pro. And if you are a professional blogger and you want to review the basics, it's a helpful read. So you could buy it there. So let's dive right in, guys. And this is 10 Things Pro Bloggers Do. I personally do them. I have done all of them on my journey because when you want to build a successful blogging venture you're gonna follow the advice of people who have been there done that this is just one of the things that pro bloggers do that's not even on the list technically I can do like 50 things pro bloggers do sorry but I wanted to cut the list to 10 so number one you wanna buy your domain and hosting now there's a lot of amateur hour bloggers out there, and you may be really afraid to commit that just more than anything. <clears throat> they want to do it on the cheap, and they want to bootstrap, and they want to just not spend money. You have to spend money to buy your domain and hosting as the first practical tip that sets everything else up, almost like a domino effect. You cannot become a professional blogger with free hosting unless you are incredibly clear and incredibly talented and incredibly connected because you lose trust when you visit a blog or a website and you see that blogspot or wordpress.com in the domain name of course right away you're gonna wonder hmm it doesn't look good first off then you're gonna start thinking they can't afford three to actually it should be at least ten to fifteen dollars a month but even three dollars a month for some of those cheapy hosting packages you're gonna see that's gotta be the lie I know you gotta see a, an instant disconnect you're gonna experience it and that's what people think you hey, know when they look at your site and they see if you're going the free hosting route that you haven't bought your domain and hosting so this is step one the reason why you gotta do it is you have to own your blog because if you don't own your blog you can get kicked off your free platform domain it's not your domain it's their domain for any reason and it just really sends off a professional serious image that you're a pro or that you're an aspiring pro and that you're doing things the right way so you have to buy your domain and hosting it's I think something all pro bloggers do just because it's that that step that tells people you're a pro and that you're building a brand and that you own your site because if not you're cyber squatting and this is just an absolutely no-brainer non-negotiable if you try to skimp or scrimp on this step you will pay long term and it's like the videos I do with my friend Alonzo Pichardo collectively they have 600,000 between plays and listens on YouTube and through the podcast, through SoundCloud, which of course goes out to iTunes and all these other sites. Well, I know iTunes more than any other. And we always talk about that. You gotta buy your domain and hosting. That's a non-negotiable because you've heard so many horror stories of folks who don't, and they really, really have a tough time. They get kicked off their domain. This doesn't look professional. They build up these huge followings and then they decide to to transfer it over, and it's just. Well, most of them don't build up huge followings. Some build up a pretty decent sized following. But it's always that like non-committal, like I would, I'll buy, I'll give it a shot, and then I'll buy the domain and hosting if I succeed. <clears throat> and of course, 99.9% of the time, you're never going to succeed. So these people never buy. So guys, buy the domain and hosting. All pro bloggers do it. Number two, you buy a premium theme or hire a developer. Now the reason why you want to buy a theme 
you know, 50, 100 bucks, something like that, or hire a pro developer, which could cost you more money, but it's an investment, so it's not costing you. These are all investments, guys, in greater growth and greater money in your future. There's nothing here that says you're spending money and losing it, or it's costly, or it's expensive. You know what's expensive? Trying to bootstrap it and not buying your domain and hosting and not buying a premium theme or not hiring a developer. That's expensive because you guarantee your failure. <laughs> Professional bloggers think image, they think branding. And when you buy a premium theme or when you hire a developer, you're gonna emit a professional, clear, eye-popping image that will convey to individuals that you are either an aspiring pro <clears throat> or you're already a pro. And of course, in case you wanna become a pro blogger, you'll show that you're an aspiring pro, that you're serious, that you're in the game doing things as pros do. And this is why people, when they run offline businesses, they rent storefronts. They're not doing it in their parents' house in the bedroom. You know what I mean? I've made that analogy many times. So this is something that's just, you have to get on board with it because if you don't, oh, I'm going to see Delilah for a second. If you don't, you're not going to be able to not only impress people, but you won't feel clear. If it's a cheapy theme, or even if it's one of these really super cheap premium themes, you know, spend money as an investment. The money you spend now doing things the right way will pay phenomenal returns in the long run. You always want to think about professionals. This is how professionals do it. This is how, whoa, that looks weird. <clears throat> yeah, it's all over the place. Folks do it with offline businesses. Well, a professional blogger has an online business. You'll be running an online business, so you spend money to make money. You invest money to grow your business, to grow your venture. And that's why a, a premium theme or having a designer develop a theme for you, <clears throat> doing this, investing this money is going to make you stand out from the crowd. And that's what professionals have to do. They have to stand out. And it's quite easy to stand out, especially in the beginning when you're willing to spend money to do it. Invest money, invest money. I'm saying spend, but it's invest, it's invest, it's invest. It's like you putting money into a 401k or into a CD or whatever, even just a savings account, although it's a lot more aggressive than that over the long haul, the return, but just that little bit that you can make. Right, Delilah? Number three, buy a CDN. <clears throat> no brainer. I resisted this for so long, and it was one of the biggest mistakes I made. A CDN hosts your images offsite off server so big crow you will be able to accommodate your increasing blog traffic without your site going down for the longest time and pros just do this because you're gonna get a lot more traffic and be using more images if you have too many images and too much traffic there's gonna be too much of a drain on your server and your site's gonna crash and I remember whenever I'd publish when I did the email newsletter thing I'd publish a new post send it out to my newsletter then my formatting and formatting as well if I could say it properly looked all screwed up and I'm like why the hell as soon as I publish a post and I email my list do my tags disappear it almost looks like old-school HTML old-school sites you don't see any formatting and your top menu is like bullet point and you don't see your kind you're like what the hell's wrong it looks really bad formatting's totally screwed up <clears throat> and my developer Phil Dews, he was, you know, nudged me, and of course, like a stubborn son of a bitch, I resisted him. But he's like, dude, I really think it's the CPN, CDN. And he did say, dude, because we go back and forth, we say, dude. And he's from, he's a Brummie, he's from Birmingham. He's like, dude, this, and I'm like, do that. So, um, so I finally relented, and I listened to the guy, and I realized that's what pros do. They get CDNs content delivery network something like that i don't know all i know is that you pay whatever you pay it's like 10 bucks a month or whatever and i mean as you scale it becomes more of an investment <clears throat> you host images on the cdn so all that load all that storage all that memory is over there so then it frees up resources on your server so as your traffic increases from day one it's a good idea to get it your site will be really really fast and that's what it boils down to it could handle certain amount of traffic and it'll still be quick and you could lose and lose the images and use more images without overloading your server you'll still have a speed issue you'll have you won't have performance issues so guys that's number three you buy a cdn this is what pro bloggers do things that pro bloggers do and again if you want the resource 
stop by bloggingfromparadise.com backslash ebook to buy my ebook. Little PSA, public service announcement, or commercial in between. Number four, scale hosting with growth. Now, about two months back, I was having all types of issues with my blog. And I realized it was just time to leave my old hosting company that had kind of screwed up a little bit and to go to a, a, a company with greater customer service and more potential. But also, I went with a VPS, which is a virtual private server, which is like your deal. Now, when you get on a VPS, when you have your own, you know, your domain and hosting hosts, and the base package are going to put your blog on a server with say 50, 100, 200, maybe more other bloggers people with lower traffic sites that's all well and good but professional bloggers they start with more premium packages from day one and let me tell you as you scale as your traffic increases you're going to need a higher level hosting package and I just went with a VPS, virtual private server, where it's your own. Because it's just, you're just not going to be able to handle the traffic and the people. I'm not as big on the SEO. I shouldn't say SEO on the tech side of things. But, you know, having concurrent users like 10, 15, 20, 50, 100 users on your blog simultaneously. If you're using these cheap hosting packages or like the lower level, you're not on a VPS, your site will crash. It'll get really, really slow. It's going to be able to handle it. So pros scale and they pay more money to accommodate traffic increases. So you don't have a problem with user experience. And so you keep getting the traffic and boosting your sales and growing your client base and getting more traffic. and get more. You know what I'm saying. So they just scale hosting with growth. So they invest money in hosting solutions that will, come here, Delilah. Delilah says hi. That's so cute. That will allow your blog to handle all traffic. And that's just pretty much one of the simpler ways to handle scale, invest more money. And it's what professionals do. Now, cheapy amateurs, <clears throat> they try to stay with their $2.95 a month. And I'm talking about $2.95, you know, $3 hosting package, $3 a month. When their site's crashing, they're seeing greater success, <clears throat> but their site's down 20% of the time. And it gets really slow, and they keep clinging to it, and they keep clinging. And they're like, you know what, I'll invest more money when I make more money through my blog. And they never reach through that point thinking like an amateur, thinking like a loser as far as thinking loss, you know, being afraid to spend money. And they never can really make that breakthrough. Whereas pros, even before they're pros, they're aspiring professionals, they keep investing money as their traffic increases before more and more money flows in. And then even as the money flows in, they keep scaling. So again, guys, that means just pay for, pay at least 10 bucks a month, 10 to 15 to start with. Maybe some will be 20 to go with a really good company with hosting wise with excellent customer service and that will be able to handle your scale and then seek out solutions a VPS is the best I know of as of now from personal experience but you have all types of solutions out there you'll be spending more money but you gotta do it because you're investing as a professional blogger number five create products professionals create products I have two blogging courses that are premium <clears throat> and another blogging course I co-created with my lovely wife Kelly which more is on the uh, business and money side of things and energy but professionals create courses to show off what they know <clears throat> and to assist their readers in succeeding solving problems living their dreams with a really robust in-depth creation a course says, I know my stuff, I'm a professional. You will earn more money through courses because they're bigger ticket items opposed to like, you know, just a really small ticket, say ebooks or free reports. Of course, it's the freest, you know, super, super small ticket, not getting anything. But it's it shows that you really know your stuff and it's something meaty. Like one of my blogging audio courses, well, one, <clears throat> but the 11 Fundamental Successful Blogging is six hours of me riffing it between the bonus audio course or the extra audio the audio course that I added the 10 questions answered by an island hopping professional blogger those FAQs that I get all the time so I, I address those FAQs to this audio course for like three hours and then the other three hours 
are the 11 fundamentals of successful blogging, which is me breaking down how to build a rocking blog. You want to become a successful blogger, you want to become a pro, you want to do it full time. I break it down via this course. So I'm sharing all the experience and wisdom and insight, knowledge I've acquired and put into use over, you know, I created the course a number of years ago, now it's a decade, but over the seven years at the time to be a pro and I share that with you and professionals create these products whatever they are I mean I, I focus on courses but it really could be anything you know, boot camps and this that and the other thing they create these products to share their wealth of wisdom to earn more money and to position themselves as a professional number six write ebooks it's just like creating a course or creating a product but on a smaller scale you know, an ebook could be 6,000. All my ebooks are 6,000 to 15,000 words tops. They're more bite sized reads, but it shows off what you know. And in this day and age, it's so easy to do. This one's on sales, along with how to build an online empire through blog commenting. All the rest are on Amazon. And it's more, again, like uh, it'll help you scale by being on these networks, but it's an authority builder, a trust builder, a way to help your readers with a full resource. Now, if you try to piece together through a number of blog posts how to become a full time blogger, that could be a little bit of a challenge. Here, there, get a little piece. Little. This ebook, it's not a challenge at all. You buy it, you pay 14 bucks, 14.97 I believe, went under 15. And for that <clears throat> amount of money, you have a tidy little guide where step by step by step you can go over, read, review, study, seep into thy subconscious mind, and succeed with it. You have a resource. You have a, a, a fundamental blueprint to follow. And that's what's so helpful for professional bloggers to offer that type of resource through an ebook to position themselves in a, as an authority. <clears throat> you could also turn it into an audiobook on ACX.com. And then, of course, you know, you could turn it into a paperback through Amazon itself. Now, Kindle offers that. It used to have to be a, a create space deal, but now when you're setting it up in your KDP, select back office as an author kdp unlimited kdp select yeah kdp select you'll have the option to <clears throat> convert it into a paperback so again professional bloggers they put out the ebooks it's really helpful it's an authority builder and if you position yourself as a pro we're almost there guys number seven create services could be freelance writing you could be coach I mean that's a service it's consulting or coaching when you create services you are more of a pro because pros offer services you don't have to but in a lot of cases professionals offer services because it is a simple way to monetize the skills that you developed over years perfect example freelance writer well shoot you've been writing for years so a professional blogger smart and you don't have to go into this area, but it really makes sense when you have that skill that, <clears throat> you know, people will reach out to you and say, hey, you know, I need this content. What's your rates? So you get to show off what you know, gain more credibility. And they, oh, they offer services. They're a freelance writer. They're a coach. They're a consultant. And, of course, get paid. And, again, a professional blogger is someone who earn a full-time income. You've gone professional through your services, through your products, through your blog. So you'll want to be opening these income streams and really a, a tight fit for most of you in uh, the blogging tips niche, of course, is to become a freelance writer or to become a blogging coach or a consultant. Or you could become a culture consultant in any niche, which is so sweet. So you'll be a pro. You'll be earning money through these services. You'll be rendering useful service. Oh, middle finger. Look at that. That's kind of funny. Sorry, guys. And you'll be positioning yourself as an authority. As you can see, that's really a big point. Oh, that was really itchy. This is how the personal bloggers itch you know sometimes when you're doing videos because they're very at peace with that. They're very clear on their brand and being authentic. That's what pros are like. Number eight, give generously, not attached to outcomes. So the last three now, things that pro bloggers do, they are more of a, let's say an energy service-based focus here. Because we know the income streams and investing money, they're really, really important, but then you want to build in on this rock solid foundation of these last three elements. Professional bloggers give generously, they're not attached to outcomes, and you keep giving, you keep giving, you keep creating videos, you keep creating blog posts. 
keep giving, keep giving, keep giving generously, not from a place of desperation, desperation or even inspiration as much as from a place of just 